What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Today we'll be taking a look at a base running formation in Madden NFL 25. Now, what we want to look for when uh, we're developing a three-headed rushing tech is obviously you want the three-headed rushing tech to contain the same personnel as our as our base play and as our base zone beater and base man beater. Uh, all those plays, they have to contain the same personnel so we can audible to them this year. You know, last year we didn't have to worry about it. This year we do. Uh, running the ball is all about being able to attack the defense in multiple different ways. Uh, I really like running the ball from a balance formation where it be like two-by-two, two, so single-back ace for for example, um, the spread, for example, uh, because you can easily flip the play and you only have to use a couple of audible slots for your running plays. Um, what we want to look at here is the pistol spread formation. Uh, I have a, I have a two, two running plays for you today. We're going to look at it. Um, the main run is going to be the read option from the pistol, um, pistol, pistol spread, and uh, then our backup run is going to be the halfback counter. But basically, read option is pretty simple. We just read the defensive end. If he crashes down on the running back, we're going to keep it with the quarterback. If he doesn't crash down, then we're going to hand the ball to the quarterback. Here you see he crashes down. So I get keep the ball with Tony Romo and get yard, positive yardage. When I feel like I'm going to get hit, I try to sit, tap the square button so my quarterback doesn't take unnecessary hits. Um, and now we're going to see that when he does play the quarterback and doesn't go after the running back, we're going to get big positive yardage up the middle of the field with DeMarco Murray. And this is going to basically uh, account for our whole rushing deck because we can flip the play. We can run it to the left side. So you see there they play the quarterback, and then we get you know DeMarco Murray up the middle for five yards. And then now you'll see if they play the running back, we'll just keep it with the quarterback here and get outside with Tony Romo for big positive yardage. So that takes care of an inside run left and an inside run right, and also an outside run right, and an outside run left. And then the last run I want to show you guys is the halfback counter. Halfback counter is used, uh, I like to put it in my quick audibles when I, when I set my audibles for this playbook, but um, the halfback counter is used just as a basic run. You know, it can run, off, it's like an off-tackle run. When they're spread out, like you see there, um, in situations where they may be in dime package or something, where they're spread out trying to defend the spread, we can easily use these halfback counters left and right to force the defense to have to kind of come down on the halfback counter. And when they do that, we'll be able to hit them with a read option. So you want to use the counter. Um, you want to find, when you're developing a running formation, you want to find a run that can kind of run as a balanced run, consistent three, four yardage, uh, three or four yards against basic defenses. And then you want to have that home run hitting run. For me, the read option is my home hitting run, and my basic run is the halfback counter. I can pretty much run it uh, on anything that's giving me numbers so if they're five men in the box i can typically run it you know even even six man boxes i can usually run the uh the counter on also what you want to look for in a running formation the ability to quick pass and easy reads on the defense so this is what i really like about the spread is we have this play in our quick audible it's called slam bubble which uh, as you guys know the bubble screens are really effective so if they're blitzing maybe on the on the run excuse me if they're maybe blitzing down on the run, we're going to be able to hit these quick bubble screens to the outside and um, get positive yardage, you know, off of the running plays that we're going to be using. So, you know, again, it's really essential to have a decent running attack, but also you you got to have quick passes off of it because if they're able to commit to just stopping the run out of this formation, you're not going to be good enough. So you have to again use quick passes, use different things. You know, I like to put running backs on streaks this year for quick passes and just lob it to them out of the backfield. And you know, give DeMarco Polo uh, a lot of room and space. So this is the basic running formation, guys. This is how I like to use three-headed rushing attack. Like I said, you know, out of the pistol spread, obviously you're not going to be a really run-first team when you're running a spread offense. But it's always good when they're giving you numbers and the and they you know they are stacking uh, against your wide receivers when they're spread out to use this, but in plays where they're not spread out, it's easy reads, and we can quickly deliver the ball to a bubble screen or something to the outside if they're not honoring it. Uh, one of the things I really like, again, out of the pistol spread, guys, is the ability to have easy reads uh, where we know, are we running or are we passing? It's pretty simple to tell, and uh, just based off the alignment of the of the players, and we just we just run the ball with DeMarco Murray, if they give us a good look, and if they don't give us a good look, I like to throw bubble screens, I like to throw quick passes, you know, turn bubble screen into a curl flat combination here, um, you know, just do different things with your passing out of this formation. It's not designed to be a, a primary passing formation, but certainly you have to have a little bit of something uh, from your passes to be able to beat blitzing defenses and stuff like that when they start to commit to the run. Thank you guys for watching today's three-headed rushing tech, and you can apply this to your your offense uh, based off of your personnel and what formations you have in your playbook. If you guys have any questions about three-headed rushing attack or why we use it, how we like to use it, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. If, this, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to share it on Twitter. For those of you who are new, 
you don't know everything that we do at the YouTube channel. We do tips, strategies, guides, tutorials, and also some fun videos giving you a little bit more in-depth analysis of Madden 25. Thanks for watching today, guys. We'll see you later.